will be there, man, and I'll be delivering a eulogy. Someone's going to clip this for the Joey Diaz red. Someone clipped that. Part. He's dead. AK, by the way, I'm still alive. <laughs> Someone clipped the part of the last show. You know, where it's you were really like, bad to tell people they better watch their back and then they're going to be dead and then the people never die. I mean, you're really blowing it, man. <laughs> you're crying wolf here. One of these podcast fans needs to actually come through and kill me or else you look stupid. What were you going to say, sweetie? Oh, just, I was saying someone's going to clip what you said for the Joy Ideas Reddit. And yes. I was recalling how someone clipped the yes. part about you saying we'll you were going to rip. Well, pull it up. Pull it up. Hold on. I'll tell you what. Don't say anything because I want to reveal it like this. Studi, this is very funny. <laughs> okay. See, you feel free to interrupt me. You know, people, a lot of people think, oh, Mike hates being interrupted. They're right. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. I found the clip. He Watch this. It. You're going to see something funny. I hope everybody's <laughs> having a good this. time here on Red Bar. We really... Love you. I see a lot of people saying nice things in the chat, which is nice. On the Matt and Shane Secret Podcast. The Reddit. Matt and Shane Secret and all Podcast. Of the guys in the comments were like, what the Hold fuck? on. Don't give it away, Jules. <laughs> okay. I'm the king of surprise like reveals. That's just fine. She'll learn. <laughs> all right. You got to see this. Somebody clipped this. Now imagine you're Shane Gillis and <laughs> someone sends you this clip and says, dude, Red Bar's been talking shit about you. Now, I'll tell you this. I'm going to play you this clip. To me, if I saw this clip as a person, I would go, who's this star? Where do I follow him? How do I join his club? I hope it has to do with scars. Um, the fact that people are mad over this clip, and you'll see. People are mad over this clip. And they're fans of a certain guy that's supposed to be cool, cooler than me. Uh, so uh, we're going to show you this. Imagine being mad at something like this. And you know who put this together? You're not going to believe it. That guy who sent me those bottles of Georgia honey studi that are. Apparently, he's been making YouTube clips about me. And this got the Matt and Shane Gillis Reddit screaming mad. I mean, they want my fucking head because they saw this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, watch this. This is from the last show. Here comes this big fucking Mongol. And look at this guy. And if I ever see him, I'm pulling down his pants, ripping off his fucking wiener and pushing him into the pool. That's All right. Too weird. That's what I'm doing. Crime. I can Done pull it. his dick off like that. Wait, Shane was that Gillis? you in the clip? Or? Yeah. It was? I never shut up. So here's the clip. Uh, and yeah, this is, uh, I was saying that I want to rip Shane Gillis's dick off and shove it down his mouth. Which uh, I guess you don't hear that being said about most of your favorite podcasters anymore. People are too scared. Here, Here comes this big fucking sure. Mongol. And look at this guy. And if I ever see him, I'm pulling down his pants, ripping off his fucking wiener and pushing him into the pool. That's All right. Too That's what I'm crime. doing. I could pull today. his dick off like that. Shane Gillis's dick comes right off with a tug. It's got that little the, fucking it's worm. It's suction cup Twist, that sticks tug, it on. Boom. It's off. I throw it. No more dick for... You! Fucking frigate. So I hate Shane Gillis. I could beat his ass in every, any fucking realm in this planet. I'll push him into the pool. I'll shove that dick right into his mouth like a baba or a pacifier. And I'll watch him bubble down to the bottom of the pool. Now! <laughs> All right. I like how you yeah, forgive Shab okay. for straight up calling him racist, but then he got mad about our video where we just made a joke about. Yeah, his I remember that. He we made it. Even bring it up it's because our just... videos speak truth. Yeah, he knows. Ooh, this red bar knows exactly my deal. Stay away from this red bar. He knows. Ooh, when I rip that pee pee off and put it right up your nose as a nose plug. Ooh, are you going to bubble down at the bottom of the pool? Right. Okay, so how could you be mad at so that? So obviously, I mean, if that was clipped, it means it rules. If I heard that, I would go, who is this guy? Where do I sign up? This sounds awesome. So this was posted in the Matt and Shane subhuman Reddit, and uh, they're all mad. Who the fuck is this guy? Why is he talking? You're a failed comic. This is, so do they, now do they think that I'm really... It's like a real threat. Like, well, we got to stick up for Shane. This guy is threatening to twist his dick off and shove it in his mouth. We have to stop How him. is this? How could you pretend that Shane is this cool, edgy guy and you like edgy comedy and then you hear this and you're offended because it's about Shane? <laughs> if someone said this about me, I'd play it on the show and we'd be laughing and having a good time. We wouldn't be declaring war against this person. 
Why are comedians so sensitive? I mean, Joey Diaz fans, Joey Diaz himself, Shane Gillis and Shane Diaz, uh, Shane Gillis fans, they're all the fucking same. Why would this offend anybody? In fact, if you're offended by this, you've automatically put yourself into the facts category. You should read the message from his brother. His brother. <laughs> Look at this. Matt's uh, brother attacked happy. me. <laughs> Um, you know, um, Matt has a brother. I don't know. Uh, we showcased this brother on one of their episodes a few times ago. They were doing one of those things where they all Skyped in. It's so funny. The Matt and Shane secret podcast during quarantine is no different than the Matt and Shane secret podcast before quarantine. It's just as shitty and they're all on Skype. So Matt brought like has his brother come on the show and we watched this latest Matt and Shane podcast. It sucks. I'm telling you. Like, pull up that last show. They literally sit around. They're like, yeah, dude. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I think that guy got, like, butterfingers the other day from, like, oh, we're really like the store. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. Yeah. There's, like, nothing going on. It's a very polite conversation amongst complete nerds. Like, if this is the cool guy section of comedy, I'm sorry. Comedy is fucking finished. <laughs> This is not cool. What's what, This makes Opie and Anthony look like... Geesh, I don't know. This is their show. Is this the brother? I don't think that's the brother. No. But this is their show. Let's just see what they're doing here. This is just their show. You like this? Oh, well, it does suck to see O'Connor in love. It does what? suck. I'll oh. admit that. Well, Every story they tell is about a guy, and they refer to him with just using his last name. Yeah, dude. O'Connor was crazy, man. You see what happened with O'Connor the other day? Oh, dude, it's like, dad, like, flip the fuck out of him. You don't know these guys, and they don't care. And it's like, who are you. these guys? They don't introduce, like, if I bring up Donkey Lips, even though everyone knows Michael Ray Bauer, I go, this guy, Michael Ray Bauer, he was on Salute Your Shorts. I'm running a show. This is a polite conversation amongst nerds that's this been filmed. Makes... If you want to sit in on this, you're gay. You get it? <laughs> you get it? This makes Luis J. Gomez look like America's most polished host. Dude. Yeah, Luis J. Gomez looks like, uh, you know, uh, Ryan Seacrest compared to this shit. <laughs> Shane Gillis stinks. Just because he said chinks once and got fired does not make him cool. Watch this show. Trust me, it's tough to explain. It's very annoying to be around. <laughs> all right. That's all I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want happy O'Connor. He's useless to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, O'Connor God, rules. Lord, dude, get off me, Satan. Dude. This is like O'Doyle from fucking Billy Madison. Happy Madison. Dude, see what happened to O'Connor the other day? Hey, you got fucked up. That's not funny. That's not cool. And where are you? Look at this place he's sitting in, this dilapidated. He's literally in a basement. Nigga's in a basement. Wow. You know, like the Drake song. Uh, this is, uh, you can see concrete walls, a storm retention sewer window, you know, where you got to climb up. There's that a can't great... be right. We are the ones who are in a basement. I Look thought. at these shitholes these <laughs> fucking idiots live in. You know, and I understand the podcast fans, like, everything else is so gay, so you, you think like, oh man, these guys are like the edgy guys. You'd have to be such a nerd to think these guys are cool and edgy. It's like, you must be so far, so many levels below them that you think they're cool and that's why it, it doesn't compute when i tell you that they're nerds look at that guy he's a nerd that's a nerd watch dude the words of satan himself oh dude. my god what are you talking about <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> you didn't say it. did you read the uh patreon comments at all no it was so far. Was, was what do you guys make? $2,600 a month spit, split between 10 of you? And these fucking poor idiots. I don't know how they're making money, by the way. Any of these people. They must all have side businesses or live with 15 people. You look on some of their patrons and you go, ooh, $4,100 a month, huh, fellows? After uh, patron fees and Shane's, splitting it. Shane is actually wearing PewDiePie's headphones, but they look that tiny. Yeah, that tiny on him. So Those are PewDiePie. Shout out to PewDiePie's headphones. 
Let's see. Being like, this is their show. God damn it. These fucking red pill COVID takes. This is bullshit. Uh, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, to be fair, it's quarantine. They're just doing their best. No, this is how their show was before quarantine. You know, this is just trash. Uh, it's going to take some unwinding. I'd like to save some of these good people. Hey, Matt and Shane podcast fans. Sorry, you were bamboozled. Come over to Red Bar. You got homes here. Townhouses for now. But Matt's brother, now let's, can we pull up what this guy looks like, Matt? Oh, he was that guy who was popping yes. off at oh, me. Oh, fuck. Does anyone have that video that we played on the show a few weeks ago? That yeah. was a clip from Matt and Shane's podcast where they talked about Because I'd like us? to see him. But his brother contacted me like a Joey Diaz butthurt fan and uh, contacted me on Instagram. I happened to get a screenshot. You got to see what he says here to me. His name is Billy McCusker, and this is Matt's brother, and Matt's just that guy. Like, Matt looks like a guy that, like, kind of hung out with a few skaters in 1998, but doesn't skate anymore. Used to kind of be cool with the hacky sack crowd, but never really took off after high school. So Billy McCusker contacts me. Hold on, I want to give it away. He goes... Yo, I'm Matt McCusker's brother from the Matt and Shane Secret Podcast. I have the scoop on Gillis. And of course, it's like, well, if you're the real brother, obviously you don't, you're not going to. But I'll entertain it. You know, why the fuck not? So I go, ha, ha, ha. This should be good immediately, by the way. And then he takes like 10 minutes and comes back and he goes, so Shane was a stand-up comedian who somehow bought a comedy club, definitely not with his parents' help, but then he completely failed at that, so he went on full rebel and started making fun of the comedians who are better than him on YouTube. What a loser, am I right? So Guys. the Instagram commenter personified, you would expect a little bit more from Matt's brother. I want to put this to rest, never was a comedian. Uh, my parents don't make a lot of money. My dad made $15,000 throughout my life. They did not buy me a comedy club. We <laughs> rented space at a nightclub. My parents had nothing to do with it. I'm hey, like in my 30s. Stop defending yourself because even if all Well, these no, things, you want to make it clear. Even if all hold on, hold on. Are... The only reason I'm doing it is because I never tell people the actual story. And I think people believe it because I don't yeah. say anything. There was no parents buying me a comedy club. There was no trust fund. And I never was nor attempted to be a stand-up comedian. Pass it on! But I was going to say, even if all of these things that everyone says about you are true, you guys still suck. So well, all of the things we say are so There true you go. Too. And this is what I say. It's not about me. And even if it was, so what? Let's pretend I am all these things. It doesn't change the fact that Shane's a... Uh, Whiny little bitch. Thank you. So, listen, you got to uh, eventually clear some things up there. Um, but uh, to see him do this, it was just so pathetic. And you go, oh, my God. And I wrote back to him. I said, does your brother know you're doing this? It makes it so much worse for Shane. I can't imagine these two guys. They're so scared all the time. They wanted to even shut you up during the podcast when you mentioned Red Bar that one time. I can't imagine your brother being okay with this. They must be like, fuck, dude, shut up, and man. And you know that Shane shut the would fuck think up, that man. this is gay, right? Yeah, I mean, this is gay. It's <laughs> like... he thinks this is a cool, funny... Oh. You know, and, and for the people who do this, you got to understand, I read 10,000 of these per day. Like, way worse than this. I read emails that are 15 paragraphs long about how I want, I'm, they're going to gut me and do all this stuff and fuck Jules up the ass and do all <laughs> this stuff. I mean, it's just, it's, it's not, you know? Uh, so they all try it. Like, everybody who's first introduced to me thinks by saying that I'm a failed comic that this is going to make this all stop. This is never going away, guys. <laughs> This is only getting bigger and more crazy and more embarrassing for you. You know, I, I, I said on the last show, we're in the perfect spot, you know, because we don't care about that reputation anymore. And you know, these comedians, one of my main gripes with them is it's reputation above all else. 
So in their mind, being called a failed cop, oh my God, that would ruin my They're reputation. Only the things that would hurt them. I don't care if you think I'm a rapist, a pedophile, any, as long as my points are getting out there. I've survived another day. I got another great day in the books. I end every show with another hit show, Jules. <laughs> so, um, you know, you could scream, you could holler, you could shout. But the fact is, at the end of the day, these items of interest that I'm saying about these men are still getting out there and they're they're taking on a form of their own with or without me. Uh, Shane, this boy just bought you about six more months of my nonsense. Do you understand how sick I can get? And this response to the light making fun of Shane that we've done oh, is yeah. so indicative of hey, how they've never been hated on exactly. before in life. Here's another thing. I'm not even being mean. It's not <laughs> like I'm accusing Shane Gillis of rape or any big accusation that could ruin his career. I'm saying... The guy sucks. All he wants to do is be famous. It's not even that bad. I want to rip his dick off. Okay, maybe that. I guess people want their dicks. Since but... you're in an explaining mood, people are demanding you explain the picture of you on stage with a mic that everyone uses to prove oh, you that's... did stand up. Oh, that's simple. It's photoshopped. It's fake. I got a specialist right here. He's looking up the information right now. He goes, oh yeah, that's, uh, it's doctored, folks. Come on. I also look fat in that photo, right? <laughs> Do I look fat to you today? Don't answer that. It's, it's, it's doctored. Bring it to your local specialist. It'll let you know right away. Oh yeah, I'll put on that little jeweler's glass. Oh yeah, this is doctored. <laughs> Anything you hear about me or see about me, it's all, it's all fake. All right. <laughs> I hope that satisfies them. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so um, there it is. And Shane Gillis, you know, I'll throw away my whole future on some of these guys. You know, people <laughs> yeah. don't realize I spent like three years of my life. This whole show was about one guy for three years, Patrick Melton. That's it. Sometimes I did 15-hour shows. It's true. Didn't I do a Mel Patrick Melton? I thought 15 hours. You know, I will make sure that people find a way to stop liking you. And we have absolutely nothing to, to lose. lose. <laughs> we don't care. You can say any word about us. You could make all the pictures you want. There's just literally no stopping this. It's the worst show to, to, to mess with. You know, do we want you to do it? Yes, but uh, get that brother under control. That's insulting. Very embarrassing. That for brother, you. get that brother under control because there will be dick unscrewings. You don't want your dick unscrewed. Ooh, imagine having a little brother running around, running around your doing that. Ay, 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 man. What are you talking about, bro? You're so stupid, bro. <laughs> that is a bad brother. That is a bad brother. If my brother I ever know, opened his mouth, you know, oh my God. Imagine you woke up and your brother was like sending dorky <laughs> texts to Andrew Santino. Oh my God, I would fucking kill. <laughs> kill him <laughs> so uh yeah just pathetic and the fact that you would be mad like imagine if we got mad well i got mad at him i guess yeah. well we but, got um, mad at how gay they are yeah so <laughs> but uh you can't be mad at that kind of stuff if shane gillis is this cr crusader and killer like dude it's i'm telling you that uh you're gay for the things you've said and then i said i was gonna rip off your dick you have to be able to deal with a dick ripping so stupid part of life um all right we've got some more exciting stuff i want to tell you something about ari shafir i love